Hi, Christy here. I want to finish out this series of body broadcasts, the Excuse Me series of things we do with our bodies we have to excuse ourselves for. So today I'm going to be talking about oh, yawns <laughs> and also hiccups, which I have had my entire life. So interestingly, both of them are harmonized by the spleen flow. In part, there are other ones for the hiccup. Oops, my ring ran into the desk. So the spleen flow, the spleen self-help, it's not the full flow. The spleen self-help is one hand on your tailbone and the other hand on your inner five. So I will sort of demonstrate this. One hand on the tailbone, the other hand on the inside below your ankle bone. And you can do that on both sides as per usual because spleen addresses both digestion and fatigue. So it helps us sleep. If we have insomnia issues, spleen can be a great go-to for that as well. So that the main one for yawns is the spleen. The, for hiccups, also the diaphragm. The diaphragm self-help is the bottom of the ribs and the inner elbow crease. And you can do it the other way as well, of course. Diaphragm helps with digestion as well. And then one of my personal favorites is the lateral 12s. So it's behind the earlobes, basically. My husband's grandmother, Grammy, she had a method for getting rid of hiccups that I found incredibly helpful. And I think it was sort of tapping into this indirectly where you would basically <laughs> put your hands up and plug your nose and hold your ears at the same time and drink water, complicated, but it worked. And I have a feeling I was taking advantage in part of pressing behind the earlobes. See if that helps with hiccups. I would love to hear in the comments below if you try these things for harmonizing yawns, which now I want to yawn again. Oh, that's funny. And hiccups. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, please go be brilliant.